lots of questions for our space expert, Keith Cowing, who is editor of nasawatch.com. We'll get to the Apollo 11 mission in a moment. But first, Keith, let's begin with India and what happened. Canceling the mission just an hour, less than an hour before. It's rocket science. I, <laughs> nice. How much of a setback is this for India? It's minor. I think they're just going to roll the rocket back to the barn, as they say, take a look at things. It's better sometimes that you're cautious and not launch rather than just to go launch and try to meet a schedule. So I'm not worried at all about this. Let's begin. Uh, let's talk about U.S. and uh, next week, the 50th anniversary of Apollo 11, the first manned mission to the moon. We've seen a lot of progress in the United States around the world since that historic day. Talk about what you consider, Keith, the biggest achievement since then. Well, the fact that um, we went to another world and people walked there and they came back. And we've had half a century now of people growing up several generations thinking that it's quite normal for people to live in space. And we've had people on the space station now continuously for nearly a decade. So uh, that's probably the most important thing that's become ho-hum. Mm -hmm. But it's also a bit of a problem because people get used to the fact that, oh, yeah, we did that. And yet some other countries are saying, well, wait, you did that, but we didn't. So they're excited about that. So it's sort of a, it, it's an interesting thing. When, you, when something happened a long time ago, you sort of forget how important it was. But I think we'll all be, re, be reminded of it this week. Most space experts I've been talking to say the best parts of space exploration is yet to come. I agree. OK, so you agree with that. Tell me, what, what can we expect? Space tourism, more moon missions, humans on Mars, explorations to other planets? Well, you've answered my question. <laughs> the answer is yes to all of those. And plus, things we haven't thought of yet. I mean, we have a lot of robotic missions that have, have left the solar system. We have telescopes that are being launched that are finding thousands of planets orbiting other stars or looking for life. So uh, the, the, the list is almost infinite like the universe. But I think what we'll be seeing is, whereas it used to be just the US or Russia or Europe, now China, India, Japan, many countries are all getting into the, uh, in the race, plus the private sector. So space is for everybody now. It used to be for a few people, now it's for everybody. So you're OK with the idea of Boeing and SpaceX getting involved? The more, the merrier. And what about space tourism, Keith? Is it going to be so pricey? Yeah, I worry a bit about that. I've had the training. I've been done the centrifuges. I've been weightless and all that. So any, pretty much anybody in reasonably good health, if you can fly in a, 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 a jetliner across the, the ocean, you can go into space. But it's expensive, and it'll pro yeah, it'll be expensive for a while. And that's sort of the big uh, you know, stopping point is, if, is it just going to be rich people? Okay, well, they'll have fun, but you know, what about the rest of us? Mm -hmm. I think that's the most important question. You know, as a journalist, um, one of the most exciting things we covered were the shuttle missions, mm -hmm. and there are no more. Was that a mistake? Getting well, one of it those? depends. Um, the shuttle had a purpose, uh, and it went past its prime, so to speak. And the idea then was to say, well, we'll retire the shuttle, and we'll go back to the moon. Now, this is in 2001, 2, and 3. We didn't go. It got delayed because of congressional funding. NASA keeps getting different uh, directions and so forth. So was it a mistake in hindsight? Well, we're not, we haven't been able to launch people from America for quite a long time. The flip side is when we start launching people from the US again, we'll have many ways to do it. So that's a good thing. And very quickly, is the United States, in your opinion, still a leader in space exploration? A leader, but we have many people, many countries, many companies that are now asking for a seat at the table. And that's a good thing. All right, we'll leave it there. Keith Cowing, thank you so much, sir.